I would say straight talk isn't a thing you want to miss out on. I um, advocate for straight talk every year. It's really interesting to see the camaraderie between the states. It's been really good to learn from other Indigenous women about their journeys as politicians. That's why I'm here as well, to learn. Some of the tools that we've been given reminded me of some of the personal changes and tips and tools that I can use in my day-to-day -day life. I want to take as much as I can. I want to take the networks, the people that I meet. You'll always use the tools that you learn all the way through your life. But it's not just while well, we're in a program for five days, it's making that lifelong commitment to be part of something bigger than yourself and bigger than your own home community. And we've seen so much of that already through what Straight Talk women have been able to, uh, to go on and do after their Straight Talk journey. I would love to see more Torres Strait Islander women. I would say that if you are even thinking about it, just go ahead and do it. Just come and be a part of this awesome adventure. This is nation building stuff when we empower women to lead.